Hello friends, this video on electric current and its effects part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now let us talk about some more important things. So everywhere till now I have been showing you a circuit where you see there is a switch, there is a battery and there is a bulb. As soon as the switch is on, the bulb glows. So the question is, when exactly the bulb glows? So you might say that when we switch, when, when we put the switch on. But what happens when we put the switch on? With the bulb glows, when the circuit is complete. Now yet another mystery. What do I mean by circuit is complete? So let us have a look at the circuit. So this is how the circuit looks when the switch is off. So this is the switch. So right now the bulb is not glowing and the switch is off. What happens? As soon as we switch it on, the bulb glows. Now do you understand something? What happens when we switched it on? Now as soon as we switched it on, the circuit became complete. So everywhere you can see this line. That means there is a path which is there for the electrons to flow. Now only when the electrons will flow, there will be a current flowing through the circuit. Now if the electrons stop flowing, what will happen? There will be no current. And if there is no current, the bulb will not glow. So it is as simple as that. I was giving you the examples of balls, right? So electrons are nothing but like those balls. So the balls need to move. If the balls stop moving, there is no current. Now, when the switch is open, when the switch is off, in that case, there is a break in the path here. So once the electron reaches here, they are not able to move further. So as a result, all the <laughs> electrons, they stop. They are not able to move. So there is no current through the circuit and therefore the bulb doesn't glow. But when we switch it on, the circuit is complete and therefore the bulb glows. So now you might ask, what exactly is a circuit? How do we define a circuit? Because every time I'm using the word circuit, circuit, electric circuit. So let's understand what a circuit is. But before that, let us look at this example, which will help you to understand the meaning of a complete and an incomplete circuit. So in this picture, what you can see, there is a bridge and you can see a cyclist here. He's, the picture uh, of the cyclist is quite tiny, but I hope you are able to see it. So the cyclist is moving on this bridge. Correct? How is the cyclist able to move here? Because there is a path for him over which he is able to cycle. Now let us say if the bridge is broken here, right? if somebody breaks the bridge here somehow, let's say. So do you think that the cyclist will be able to cross the bridge? No, because there is no path for him to move. So he will have to stop here. So the same thing happens here. When the circuit is complete, there is a path for the electrons to flow and therefore there is a current in the circuit. But when we break the circuit, then the circuit becomes incomplete and therefore the electrons can't flow and therefore there is no current. So now let's understand it in this way. So in your real life, what you can do is, you can try to make a simple circuit like this. Take a bulb, take few wires lying here and there in your house and take a battery. So even if you do not find all these in your house, but I'm pretty sure that you'll be find, able to find them all in your laboratory. So you will observe that when the bulb is connected to the battery, which is the source of electric current, and if the two ends of the wire are not linked to each other. So if they are not joined to each other, so if they are left free, the bulb doesn't glow. That's because the path is not complete. The circuit is not complete. So it is broken here. So the electrons cannot flow. There is no current. Therefore, the bulb doesn't glow. But for the same circuit, when the free ends are joined, so when you join the two ends, now you have a complete path for current to flow. As a result, the bulb glows in this case. So this setup which you see on the screen, that is nothing but a circuit. So a circuit is basically uh, an arrangement where you have different components. All of them are connected to each other. So that's how a circuit looks like. And this circuit provides a path for the electric charges to flow so that current can flow. 
So if we have to define electric circuit, we can say that it is nothing but a path for current to flow. In simple, it, it's quite simple. The path, the bridge which is needed for the cyclist. Similarly, the path which is needed for the current to flow. So that path is nothing but electric circuit. Now in the previous slide, you saw how exactly electric circuits are uh, formed. Now when we want to represent electric circuits, because Electric circuits are not always as simple as having one bulb, one battery and one switch. So they are not always that simple. So we have complex circuits which exist uh, inside our refrigerators, inside the television sets, inside our computers. So we have very complicated circuits. So there has to be a way to represent these circuits. And that way is nothing but drawing a circuit diagram. So the circuit which we saw in the previous slide, the same circuit, so this is the circuit which we saw where we actually have a bulb, we have a battery and then we join the ends of the wires and then you have a complete circuit where the bulb glows. But the same circuit can be represented by using a circuit diagram where instead of drawing a bulb, because now if you start drawing each component of the circuit, that is going to be tedious. And also that will not be uniform. So now somebody might draw a bulb in one way, somebody else might draw it in some other way. So therefore we follow certain symbols of different parts of a circuit and that's how and with the help of all those symbols we draw a circuit diagram. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.